More developing news now tonight. Governor Gina Raimondo is speaking out about the standoff between state house leaders that's left Rhode Island's budget picture in limbo. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Planner joins us now with the developing details live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Jared. Mike, well, the governor is saying she continues to talk with both the Senate president and the speaker, but it's not like she's exactly going to sit down and have dinner and drinks with them at the same table. Her message tonight, the state is okay for now. On day four without a new state budget and continuing under the previous one, Governor Gina Raimondo emerging from a meeting with her budget team. Government will continue to operate without interruption. The governor's first comments since Speaker Nicholas Mattiello abruptly sent the House home Friday after learning the Senate planned to amend the state budget, concerned about the affordability of his $221 million plan to phase out the car tax. WPRI.com reporting Mattiello and Senate President Dominic Ruggiero have not spoken since then. Wednesday, it looked like progress was possible. Ruggiero floating in an interview the idea of passing the budget, along with a separate bill allowing lawmakers to pull the plug on the car tax phase out if state finances become dire. The speaker quickly shooting that down. I object to an amendment designed to kill the repeal of the car tax. I am committed to giving the public the tax relief they have been requesting for a long time. A trailer bill is nothing but the same amendment in a different form. The suggestion does not make any sense to me. The governor saying it isn't her role to mediate at this point and not commenting on the squabble. Figure out a way to reconcile the differences and get back together and pass a balanced budget and send it to my desk for my signature. July 31st will be the first time the state makes school and other payments to cities and towns with the same amount of funding from last year. The governor saying that would be the first opportunity that people would notice the difference, also noting that there would be budget cuts or there would be financial cuts if we get too far down this path. The governor is saying today she does have the power in, quote, extraordinary circumstances to order the assembly back into session, but she says she's going to take a wait and see approach there. Coming up new at 6 o'clock, what about her CCRI free college plan? Where does that stand on all of this? With the Province Mobile Newsroom tonight, Jared Planner, Eyewitness News. We're also tracking developing news on the state budget standoff, now almost five days old. Governor Gina Raimondo is calling on House and Senate leaders to put aside their differences and get a budget to her desk. One item caught in the crossfire, the governor's plan to offer free college tuition. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner joins us live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom with more on what happens next. Jared. Well, Mike and Caroline, at 5 o'clock, we showed you how little progress there has been between Senate and House leadership. The governor came out today saying the state is okay, running under old funding levels for now. But she says people are going to see a real difference when it comes time to write those checks out to cities and towns July 31st. Good afternoon. Governor Gina Raimondo commenting Wednesday for the first time on the stalemate that's holding up a new state budget. Her message to everyday people, the state is running without interruption and to the Speaker and Senate President. Figure out a way to reconcile the differences and get back together and pass a balanced budget and send it to my desk for my signature. The governor not mediating between the two and not taking sides in a spat that led Speaker Nicholas Mattiello to send the House home Friday after learning the Senate planned to amend the state budget concerned about the affordability of his $221 million plan to phase out the car tax. A spokesman confirming to us as of midday, Mattiello and Senate President Dominic Ruggiero haven't spoken since. The governor warning financial cuts will happen if we get too far without a new budget. We asked about CCRI students trying to figure out fall tuition with the governor's plan for two free years of college now hanging. Raimondo saying she'll do it without a budget. We will figure out a way. It's a very tiny amount of money. Uh, it's, I think, less than $2 million in the context of a $9 billion budget. So apply and get a degree and go have a great future. Now, no specifics on funding. If you recall, the governor's plan had been significantly pared down in the budget from a time when it included URI and RIC. Now it is not funded at all, along with everything else that should have been funded July the 1st. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom tonight, Jared Planner, Eyewitness News.